Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of East Coast Bass Fishing. Today's video topic is going to be about fishing flooded waters. And what I mean by flooded waters is the shoreline, the trees that are usually up on the bank that are pretty much dry where you can stand and fish from. But obviously fishing the opposite direction, fishing up into that deep flooded area, whether it's ponds, lakes, or reservoirs. And the reason why we're going to get on that topic today is because we had a heavy rain last night and as we all know the fall time can bring some heavy rains and flooded waters um what we're going to do is go over certain baits i like to use and how i like to use them and rods line and gear so guys without further ado let's get right into some of these baits all right guys here we have some of the lures of choice that i like to use for fishing that flooded waters, the flooded areas. And I'm just gonna go right into, starting off here with these bottom baits, what I like to use and how I like to use these things for fishing these flooded waters. First off, these bushes are gonna be flooded and these bass are gonna move up into that shallow, shallow cover to feed. When the, when the water gets muddy and just dirty, they're gonna go up to feed on bait fish and crawls, any kind of creatures that may be up in there. And when you're flipping into the area, you're gonna have to go heavy, guys. You gotta use some heavy gear, heavy line, and uh, stout rods. The preference rods, you might wanna go with the seven foot, to seven three, maybe seven six, just depending on you. Me, I like to do seven foot minimum, seven three max or seven four, heavy action, with a nice little tip so I can feel that bite. I'm gonna go braided line. When I'm flipping into those bushes, it's 50 to 65 pound braid. My choice, a lot of people like to use flipping hooks. I like to use the offset wide gap here. The trapper tackle, as you can see, the extra heavy or the triple X heavy, I will use. And then I'm gonna go with a Wu Tungsten bullet weight. This is a half ounce. Uh, I would go no less than a half ounce, maybe uh, a whole ounce itself. <clears throat> Beaver baits, any kind of creature style baits. Here we have a, um, a bait here is black and blue, and this is going to be from Twins Fishing. This is one of my favorite baits to use, that they make, I'm sorry. As again, I have that, that four art trapper tackle hook there, the extra heavy. This is just catching custom baits crawl here in the uh, South African special. Dark colors will stand out quite a bit. When you flip into that heavy brush, those bass are going to on those and give it something that's got some vibration, something that's got some pinches, something, some claws that's going to just flare out. They will jump on that thing just as quick as it be flipping in there. Jigs. These are not the typical jigs I would use, but the colors are perfect. You have a green goblin here. It's black and green. Again, with the same trailer here. And uh, I will use a brush jig, honestly. But this flipping, this, this football head jig just might do the job. You gotta make sure you have a stout hook and a good weed guard to get up in that breast so you don't get broken off. Black and blue, perfect, perfect color. Uh, I've had some experience in the past catching some big bass up in flooded wood or flooded bushes on a black and blue jig. Fishing, heavy braid once again. All right, let's get on to the moving baits. Now, typically you would think, okay, let's go with dark baits. We've got some flooded waters dark waters, you want to always go with dark base. That's not always the key. If you go, check, go back and check the FLW, actually, you know, the MLF, they came out here to Jordan Lake and they put a hurt on these bass in some of the flooded waters of Jordan Lake and they use bladed jigs, spinner baits, light colors. All of these are going to work any given time of the day when that water is very flooded. Here we have a G-Man's Trader Bait with a Gamma Easy Swimmer trailer in the back. Now, these lures, you're not gonna be flipping into cover, obviously, but there are gonna be certain situations where you can kind of weave them in and out around certain bushes that maybe you just kind of isolate away from certain areas. So isolated bushes and, and cover, you throw them up against there, they can bring those bass off of that cover just enough to give them the feed. These blades give off a lot of vibration and that's the key for bites when the water is flooded and dirty. Same thing here, you got the white spinnerbait and the chatterbait. And then you have the 
your typical gold and silver woodaway blade for your spinner baits, guys. You can't go wrong. Last but not least, we have a Spro Proper Frog. My choice of the color is going to be black. When you're fishing that frog in that flooded grass and flooded bush area, these these bass are not looking at oh the bright colors. They're going to see the shallow. They're going to see the shadow of this black frog. That's why my preference is an all black frog. Fishing in that shadow, the shallow flooded cover, guys. You just can't go wrong with that. One more look at everything, guys. You got your your crawls and you got your real style baits here. Twins fishing jigs, twins fishing creature bait. And this is gonna be your cat just catching custom baits crawl. Twins fishing jigs here again. Z-Man's chatterbaits and war eagle. And not to mention your spro proper frog guys. Okay guys, so don't don't forget when you go down these waters and you and you get a lot of heavy rains throughout the, the fall, any time of year when that water temp is dropping, we're actually going into the fall transition and we're already in it really. And that water temp is dropping, you get some heavy rains that come in. The bass are already moving into the wood as it is already. When it starts to rain heavy and everything's flooded, don't be afraid to flip into that heavy cover with some jigs or uh, creature style base peg, heavy line, 50 to 60 pound, 65 pound braid, heavy gear, guys, because you're going to have to winch those fish out. It's going to be some big girls that are ready to feed. Spinner baits, chatter baits of any color, if you have some flash going on there, you can use some whites, you can use some chartreuses, gold blades, willow leaf blades, black blades, if you have those. Just kind of play around with and see what these bass are going to eat. Uh, chatter baits, guys. We all know the bladed jigs, they give off a lot of vibration. And you're not gonna be throwing right up into that brush, just kind of weaving in around around it, and you will get bit. So just a little quick video, guys, for you to learn and some of the tips I'm giving out for this flooded waters. Last night we got a lot of rain. I'm hoping we get a lot more soon. Here in North Carolina, we've had some shortage on water in certain places, so the more rain, the better. Guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my previous video. Don't forget, 1,400 subscribers. I will be doing a video giveaway. And guys, I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.